So today I'm going to show you how to lead and open a joint. We're at the 24 units. I've tried to use the PVC fixer flanges and in all honesty, it's going to give me a headache down the road. So that's why we're going to use these cast iron flanges because I know it's going to last my lifetime without a callback. So let's get to work. So you take the horse hair, you flip it, twist it and stick it in the hole just like your sister likes. Once you got it in there, you take your yarning iron, see that? And then you put it in and push the yarn down it in the hole. Now it's hard to do it with just one hand, so I'll be right back. Now you continuously twist the yarn, stick it in between the pipe and the flange. the yarning iron is too thick to go in between the flange and the pipe. I do have the largest flange they sell at the supply house for all the know-it-alls. Get yourself a putty knife. And that's what I use to push the yarn in. So the reason for the oakum, that's what's actually making it watertight. You pack it down, when it sees water, it expands. The lead that you pour across the top is just holding down the oakum inside the toilet flange. I'm gonna use this little torch to piss you guys off on the internet instead of a bee tank. And uh, what else we got? I use the toilet riser to hold the ladle while I melt the lead into it, if that makes sense. But you always should heat the ladle up a little bit before you go ahead and start putting melted lead into it. So stay with me. So now I think I got enough lead melted, we're going to clear all the bad stuff off the top of the lead. But before you go ahead and put the metal tool into the hot lead, heat the tool up a little bit. You'll know when your lead's ready, it's gonna have a purple tint to it. Just like the Dream Cleaners rainbow stickers on their bands. See if I can do this one-handed. Pick it up and pour it in. The piece coming through the floor is not cut evenly, so it spits out in areas. You should be doing this in one continuous pour, but because these are from 1830, they must have knotted off with the dinosaur teeth. So I do my best, it shouldn't leak. So once you got the lead poured, you grab a packing iron, they got it inside and outside, and you go around the edge and you lightly tap the lead down so it packs on the oakum. So because this one's a retrofit, it's not the prettiest, but it's going to do the job and that's what counts on a retrofit. If it was a brand new, you can turn it into art and make it look good. So there you go. That just proves my point. You got to be a well-rounded plumber. Service, new construction, commercial, that's what makes you good at what you do. Anybody can just slide a snake down a tube, you know what I mean?